Hello Aquarius and welcome to your April 2022 uh, Terrascope. Uh, welcome to the channel if you're new. My name is Brett Valdez and this is a going to be a new series on my channel that I hope to be doing for the first of the month. <laughs> um, uh, provided that uh, things work out in my favor. Um, um, I, since it's new, I'm going to explain just a bit how these things work. Um, now, if you've never done this before, um, I'll explain, but um, I'm assuming many of you probably have. Um, but um, this, these are collective readings, okay? So um, whoever is drawn to click on the video and uh, listen to the reading, um, at any given time, um, that message, um, is hopefully for them. Um, now, again, it is a collective reading, so you may find yourself listening to this and hearing nothing that resonates with you. Um, I want you to keep in mind that these are sun, moon, and rising. So these are going to apply to Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising. Um, so if your moon and rising are in different placements, you may want to check out, uh, those videos, uh, because your message may actually, uh, be in one of those readings instead. Um, before I get started, I always want to let you know that decks that I use will always be listed below in the description box, and, um... Because I know that I'm always curious about the decks people use, especially if I see something that I really like. I'd, I'd like to know what it is and where I can get it. Um, uh, but without uh, continuing on, the way I'm going to be doing this, uh, at least for now, is of course I'll be using tarot. Um, but the main uh, theme I'm going to be gathering is coming from um, some oracle cards that I'm drawn to, basically. Um, I have shelves and shelves full, and I just, whatever kind of warms my hand, I just go ahead and pick for it. Um, so, alright, Aquarians, why don't we just jump right into it, and um, yeah, let's get started. Um, let's see. That, this one here. Now, uh, I'll explain why you have two of these in a moment. Now this one. This one I saved for last, and you'll see why. This is the Moonology Manifestation card. And this Big Daddy is the, uh, the main theme for, uh, each sign. That, um... When I picked the card, I asked Spirit basically what the main overarching energy is going to be for the month uh, for uh, a particular sign. So for you, revolution. I mean, couldn't get, you know, much more clear. You you are an Aquarius. Um, you are the revolution. Uh, Uranus and um, the 11th house is all about revolutionary things and um and i'm an aquarius rising so i understand that very well um let's get some more information because so far that's just telling me about you revolution clarity okay so some sort of clarity and some kind of something that you're going to be doing revolution something that you're going to revolutionize as you do as an aquarius Okay, so the reason I have two cards here is because um, um, I, uh, I, one fell out of the deck, and then for some reason I was told to look at the bottom of the deck. Um, and so um, I did, and they just happened to match, kind of. I don't know why. They kind of, I don't know, they kind of go together. So I thought I would show you. One says, cut the cords of doubt. Okay. Uh, now... From this, I'm gathering that you tend to, you may tend to find yourself um, not maybe believing in your um, transformative abilities for 
creating a revolution or revolutionizing something. Um, but Spirit wants you to know to unstick the stuck. So whatever is, is sticking, um, just un it's just work on unsticking it. <laughs> it's pretty much that simple. You know, when you have gum on the bottom of, uh, I don't know if they even do this anymore, but gum on the bottom of a classroom desk or something, they have a, a kid that offers to, I don't know if they offer or if the, <laughs> the teacher picks on them to do it, but scrapes, you know, the gum off of the, the underside of the, the, the desk in schools. So I'm getting that kind of energy from this. You know, if you're feeling stuck, um, cut the cords of doubt in order to, to get unstuck. So if you're feeling any kind of doubt about anything, come real, come to a place of clarity or unsick, like unsick yourself, realize that you're getting to a place of clarity for this revolution. And then we have divergence. Now this is about a fork in the road, about changing perspectives. Um, I hear always the um, Robert Frost poem. And I don't know, I can't ever remember the exact uh, words, but it's the um, two branches or two, what, two paths diverge in the wood and pondering one, I chose the other, right? I can't remember the exact, I can't remember the exact thing at the moment, but you know, that's the general idea. Um, so there's going to be a, a, cha a, cha um, a need for a change of perspective coming up here, um, which, uh, I think falls in line with what's going on here. I think the clarity card makes sense with that. Cut the cords of doubt makes sense with that. Um, and revolution, uh, you know, unstick, get, un get unstuck basically. And f look at, it, look at it from a new perspective. Um, I just heard, uh, ooh, 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 I got a new attitude. I don't know who sings that. I'm sorry. Uh, but I just heard that for about that, but something, uh, something about a, a change in perspective, a change in um, energy um, brings you to this, whatever this is, and we're going to get into it with the tarot, but this is the overarching energy uh, for the month. Let me see if I can just push these up a little bit so I can make sure that they're really up here and have room for the tarot for you to see as well. All right, so Tara, we have the Eight of Inspiration, the Eight of Wands. Okay, so something moving quickly. I'm getting um, a feeling of you being maybe like um, coming from a, a place of stasis, a place of uh, a place of well, actually, yeah, feeling stuck, right? Um, if you can see in this card, the, um, the woman here, um, she's coming from like a faded image, right? And as she moves forward and the eight of, of wands is about, you know, speed, great speed. Um, she goes from this faded, uh, woman into this fully, fully realized and, you know, contrasted woman. So definitely a, the change of perspective seems to be moving you quickly towards a review, a period of review. So you're focusing, you're, you're, you're reviewing, you're focusing on your harvest, your, what you have available. Um, Whatever you have in your hands isn't all you have available because look at all that's around you as well. Um, but for some reason you're focusing especially on what you have right in front of you and you're not realizing the big picture it seems. Um, so I, um, again, it's like cut the cords of doubt here and don't, 
I mean, that review period is important, but don't forget the big picture of it. Uh, the two of voices. There is a decision to be made. Um, and it seems like it needs to be... So this this uh, energy is, is moving quickly, so it needs to be made probably, probably pretty quickly. Um, so cut the cords out, move quickly to this decision, because there is a fool on the horizon, a new journey, a new opportunity, um, walking into, into the unknown. I just heard another song, that Frozen song. Like, it could be, like, something completely new for you, and, um, you know, maybe it's scarier, maybe it's, um, um, uncomfortable, I don't want to say uncomfortable, but maybe it's just, it's so new for you that you're, that you're more comfortable in this energy here, right? But don't forget about this, unstick the stuck, because you've got some new, new energy coming in, and you're walking into some new energy here. Uh, you have the moon. Um, okay, clarity. I want you to be careful of, um, indulging too much, especially in drink. Um, uh, any kind of substances, okay? Um, now the moon is typically about, like, deceit or, you know, things hidden and stuff, but it can also be self-deception. So, um, and I know the moon is Cancer, but the moon card itself has a lot of 12th house themes, which is Piscean. Um, so, and that, obviously, Pisces is um, has a lot to do with addiction or indulgence, um, especially in substances and stuff like that. So, um, just be careful about that, um, because I, th it, with this clarity card here, you're going to be needing a clear mind, a clear head, uh, to bring you to this ace of wands here. Okay, a new... Again, it's a new energy, a new inspiration, um, a new journey into a new passion. Um, with the moon card here, um, and all this kind of um, introspection kind of energy, um, some of you may be... Um, Uh, getting pregnant, um, or, or, um, getting someone pregnant, or you having, you know, basically, in other words, um, becoming with child, um, and this moon here could be, um, uh, symbolizing, and this here, uh, the seven of, uh, pinnacles, and this two of, uh, swords, it makes me feel, and the fool even, it makes me feel like maybe it's unplanned. So, um, be careful about that. If that's not something that you want, uh, make sure that if you do go into any, um, sort of sexual encounters, make sure that you're protected if that's not what you want. Um, because the energy is lined up for you to, um, to uh, have that possibility, or have that as a possibility. Uh, Aquarius, overall, what I'm seeing is um, this need to, it comes, it really comes back to these two cards here, cut the cords of doubt to unstick the stuck, right? Changing perspective, having clarity, revolutionizing, moving quickly into this whole new energy, and this ace of, uh, ace of wands, um, you could be working on a creative endeavor, and, um, the moon card could be, uh, keeping it secret, um, because, um, because, um, maybe it's not, 
something that you feel like you can trust people with yet or you know it's a it's a project it's a big project or it's it's a passion project right because it's a it's a wand the ace of wands it's ace of inspiration in its deck but it's ace of wands so it's a new project and it's a passion right but have a different perspective um and just remember that you are revolution. You are this card. And so... I'm trying to think of anything else I see before I close. Um, um, eight. With this eight here... Um, I get a draw towards the month of August. Um, now, wands are typically like a spring card, and I believe August starts summer, or is it July? I'm not sure. But um, with an eight, the eighth month of the year being August, um, this um, pregnancy th thing could be an issue come August. Um, but... Um, like I said, it's easily avoidable, um, just as long as you know that it's on the table, uh, to make sure that you're protecting yourself, or if you are a male, to make sure that you're protecting, um, both yourself and, uh, your partner, or, uh, yeah. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you for the month of April, uh, Aquarius, and, um, yeah, I see just a lot of opportunities coming up for you, and um, I do see that you are doubting yourself, but just remember this clarity here, right? And having a new perspective, like, think of the symbiosis there, okay? All right, let's go ahead and pick your uh, Moonology Manifestation card. I like to pick these uh, for each sign um, as uh, something to meditate on throughout the month, okay? So throughout the month or whenever you have a chance to meditate, whenever you have a chance to think um, about um, other things, um, focus on, let's see what we got here actually. Um, the first quarter moon in Virgo, assess the situation, okay? Again, um, now, you know, Aquarius, you're very, you know, free thinking and, um, and not afraid to buck the trend and to be your own independent thinker. Um, but the first quarter moon in Virgo is asking you to be more, a little bit more analytical. Okay. Um, be a little bit more, um, grounded, um, and assess the situation. Whatever the situation is here that's coming up for you. And it's I see different things for a lot of you. Sun, moon, and rising. Remember that. Um, assess the situation. Okay? So, throughout the month, why don't you sit on that and think about what that means in whatever situation you find yourself in. Assess the situation. And bring this Virgo energy into it. You could bring the first quarter moon energy into it in Virgo. And how would that play out? How would, how would Virgo flavor, you know, any of these things that are happening, that are going on? Um, so, yeah, take time out and think about this. Um, Spirit chose it for a reason for you, I think. All right, and with that, I will close. So, Aquarius, that was your April 2022 uh, Terrascope. And thank you so much for checking out my channel. If you are new to my channel, again, my name is Brett Valdez. Please hit subscribe. Um, if you enjoyed this, hit the like button. Uh, share it with your Aquarius friends, um, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Remember, this is collective. Um, so take what connects with you, and if it doesn't connect... Um, then it's just meant for someone else. And you can also check out your moon and your rising sign. And 
you may connect more with that depending on uh, where, where you, what, what message you need to hear. Is it more to do with your emotions, your ego, your your uh, with your identity? Okay. All right. So, um, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you uh, in May for your May. 2022 Terrascope Aquarius. Okay, bye-bye.